Facebook, what's up? It's Olivia here. I'm answering some questions right now, so leave a comment and we'll get started. Let's do this. First, we're gonna start with some questions from InStyle staffers. So, first of all, your new single, Phoenix, just debuted last week. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind it? Yeah, so, I think first and foremost, I'm just really excited about it overall. Um, you know, this, this entire process of, you know, making music has been a thing for quite a while now. It's, it's been a long time coming. Um, but the past, I guess, I want to say two years has been more so figuring out sound and direction and lyrically where I want to go. And, um, you know, I, for some, for me anyway, like when I wake up every morning, like the mantra I kind of live by is making it the best day I possibly can because I feel like life is too short um, to take it too seriously and to just live with positivity and spread goodness and um, be happy. And you know, when I when I heard Phoenix for the first time, that was like, that was the total vibe that I got. I mean, the, 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 the tone of the song, the energy, the vibe, the the whole song in general, the, the track, the lyrics, everything was just so perfect um, that like I needed to put my vocal on it. And I worked with Steve Mack um, on the song and he is an incredible producer slash writer slash human being and I adore him and he pulled a lot out of me during that song. And um, I think I just really overall wanted to pull this, this passion and this empowerment and just this anthem of life song together. And um, I, I mean, so far the feedback has been really great. So I'm happy with it. Great, and it's a total pick-me-up, this song. Yeah. So what are some songs that you listen to when you need some motivation yourself? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place when it comes to, when it comes to music, especially songs that I need to um, kind of build me up when I'm feeling down. But I think for the most part, it's like, it's like oldies but goodies. Um, when I was in seventh grade, I did this talent show and I sang I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> and no one knew what it was. None of my classmates knew the song, but for some reason I sang it every day on the way to school. I don't even know how I knew the song, but um, I like, it's still like my shower song. It's still like the one song that I know every lyric to and that I can make up every little dance move to. It's, it's the best. And then you've also performed your own covers lately of some pretty big hit songs, including yeah. Hands to Myself by Selena Gomez and Hideaway by Daya. Um, are there any artists that you're hoping to cover in the near future that we can expect? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing in the works right now, but I'm hoping, um, I mean, I have like a handful of artists that like I totally admire and their music is out of this world. But right now I'm really into this song by Ruth B called Lost Boy. Um, it's it's more on you know the mellow side. It's a little more dramatic, a little bit more of a soulful feel, which I really dig. Um, and that's kind of what I've been doing with these covers is really just stripping them down and um, kind of putting my own passion behind it, which I think is really nice. Um, so that kind of differentiates like my music versus that. So I don't know. I mean, hope I'm, I'm hoping in the future that that I can um, do another cover soon. But right now, it's just trying to finish this record. Great. And then in your free time, what's your go-to karaoke song? Uh, Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. <laughs> awesome. So you just announced that this fall you're going on tour. Um, what can fans expect to see? Uh, a lot. I mean, this tour is really exciting. This is my first tour. Um, I'm nervous, pumped, giddy, scared. <laughs> like all of these commotions, uh, emotions just kind of combined. And um, I don't know, you know, I feel like it's just gonna be a fun time. I'm having Ryland uh, Lynch open up for me and he's incredible. I can't wait for people to hear his stuff because he's so good and I think he's really just gonna pump up the crowd and um, and then I'll come on and they'll already be like up here. So hopefully I can bring them up even higher. Um, but it'll just be fun. I'm excited for everyone to hear my new music that I've been working on forever now. So um, yeah, I'm excited. And then before the tour starts, um, what are your summer plans? Well, uh, tour kind of starts in the summer. <laughs> um, I'm in June, I'm going to shoot a film in Vancouver, which I'm really excited about as well. And then right when I get back, I'll have like a week and a half, two weeks of just straight rehearsal, and then I go right on tour in July <laughs> through August. So that's, that's kind of my summer, which I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, if there's one place that you could travel to this summer, where would it be and why? Ooh, um, yeah, usually I like going places um, that I've, that are like more so in the tropical realm. Um, 
I want to try the Dominican Republic. It looks super beautiful. Um, I want to go back to Hawaii. I was only on the island of Oahu, so I want to try Maui. I have some friends that are there right now, and it looks insane. Um, I don't know. I think I just kind of want to venture out into, like, some weird jungles, whether they're, like, okay to go in or not. <laughs> I'll take the risk. Do you have one beauty trick that you swear by? Um, always mascara, always, hands down. Always have a little uh, little mascara on you for everything. And then one of our viewers who's chiming in on Facebook is Kellyanne, and she wants to know what are your beauty essentials? Uh, mascara. <laughs> and um, I'm obsessed with this um, lip balm. Uh, that's rosebud strawberry or they think they have cherry, uh, but strawberry is my favorite. It's rosebud strawberry lip balm and it's incredible. It smells good. It tastes good. I know you're not supposed to eat it, but I don't eat it. It's just on my lips. So sometimes, you know, all right, we're going to stop there. Um, what other? Um, oh, uh, there's also this really good stuff. Um, it's like a Nutri Neutrogena moisturizer lipstick, and they have all these different colors. There's like a classic nude, a red, um, a light pink. There's like all of these different, and my, my favorite thing about it is not only can you use it as lipstick, but you can also take a little bit of it and put it on your cheeks to, to make uh, blush. It's really great, I love it. Is there any fashion trend that you're loving right now? Yeah, I love the chokers. I love that the 90s are kind of coming back. Um, the chokers are really great. I probably have like 10 of them and I like switch them out every day. <laughs> if I could wear them all at once, I'd be rad. <laughs> and then who do you turn to for style inspo on Instagram? On Instagram? Oh, um, I think I'm just kind of all over the place. I don't know if I have one specific person that I, that I, that I, look for um if i see somebody like i'll kind of like just scroll through their instagram and like screenshot <laughs> all of these different outfits um i'm a really big fan of uh this this account um this girl named i think her name is jules and it's sincerely jules and she does like this beauty blog and like this fashion blog and i love it it's really cool great and then johnny who's chiming in on facebook wants to know what is your favorite disney movie of all time Hands down, Rapunzel. Um, I probably saw it in theaters like a thousand times, and uh, it was it was amazing. And now I like have convinced myself that I'm Rapunzel. Um, and I just recently cut my hair, so now I'm like you know the new Rapunzel when she cuts it, but it's just not brown. I don't know if you've ever seen it. <laughs> so, so I'm literally sitting here talking about it, but it's amazing. Go see it now. Great. And then, do you have a go-to filter on Instagram? On Instagram. Um, no, I use like a hundred different apps for my filters. Um, I use ViscoCam a lot for filtering my photos, which I love, uh, VSCO. Um, but I love Instagram. I love filtering photos, whether they're mine or not. <laughs> um, our viewer, Nicole, wants to know, what is your favorite TV show? Right now, my favorite TV show is Scandal. It's really good. Um, I mean, I... I'm really passionate about this show, so I'm not gonna get way too into it, but it's really good right now, and I'm obsessed with Carrie Washington, and um, I mean, it was like fifth season. Yeah, I think it's the fifth, and it's, it's, it's getting better at each episode. Great, um, and then what's your favorite place on Earth, is another viewer question. My favorite place on Earth? Oh, um, <sighs> This is, it's not, it's not extravagant or anything, but um, my great aunt and uncle's house, I love it. Um, it has this lake and we ride golf carts and we fish and we go to the barn and it's in the south, <laughs> just so you guys are aware, but um, it's, it's, it's home for me and I love it and um, I, I, if I could spend every day there, I would. And they make the best homemade food like in the world and so if I could eat that every day too, that'd be, that'd be great. And then specifically in New York City, what are your favorite spots? Oh, um, I th like personally, I feel like um, I, I like I want to be a local, <laughs> but like I'm not. Like I enjoy the touristy places so much. I always try and make a trip to Serendipity while I'm here because I'm super wild about their frozen hot chocolates. Um, also. I don't know. I think for me, there's not like there's not any specific spots. I think I just kind of like walking and just like finding places and um, like little nooks that like 
probably everybody that lives here knows about, but like no tourist knows about. I think that that's, that's something that I'm really into. Um, I have a lot of friends who live here, so they take me to some really cool spots that I can never tell you the name of, but like I would just know how to get there. Um, but I love it here. I've already promised myself that like I'm gonna at least live here for like six months, at least, so we'll see. And while you're here, I'm sure you're doing some shopping. Yeah. What are a few of your favorite stores right now? Um, I'm kind of simple when I, I mean, when I shop, I don't shop that much. It honestly, it kind of stresses me out. I get a little bit of anxiety when I, uh, when I shop, but, um, a couple of my favorite stores, I always, I can always count on Urban Outfitters. That's a good one. Um, Top Shop's a really good one too. What else? Um, Free People. I have like a very bohemian chic style, um, but I like to, I like to switch it up every now and then. I like to kind of step outside my comfort zone and try new things. And then, do you have a red carpet secret weapon? A red carpet secret weapon? Um, I guess not, no. I mean, like, like, a, like something like, physical? Yeah, like in your purse or... Um, <laughs> no, I really don't. Sometimes I don't even have a purse on the carpet. Um, Sometimes I even wonder why I need a purse because I never use it. Like I never ever use it just to put my, I, I mean I always put my phone in there and maybe like some lipstick or lip gloss, but um, no, but like my favorite carpet pose is like the over the shoulder. <laughs> I always give them that. <laughs> Do you have a signature Instagram post that you go to? Oh, um, I think it's always like the cheesy, um, <laughs> like looking out the window or the scenery or, like sad girl too, not like, not like, yeah, it's like super like in the distance. <laughs> and then our last viewer question um, is, what are your favorite pizza toppings? Oh, I'm simple. I like cheese or Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo on pizza is so good. <laughs> That's it. I don't really, I don't really have a major toppings. Well, guys, I think that's it. That's all the questions. I'm sorry you had to end on such a bad one that I that I couldn't give you much. <laughs> and now we were talking about yogurt, frozen yogurt toppings, and I would go all in. But um, thank you guys so much for all the questions. I had so much fun. Um, I'm going to go explore the city more. That way I can tell you guys more of what I love because I don't know. <laughs> Bye, you guys.